Hi, this is problem 18 from the 2021 AMC 10A. A farmer's rectangular field is partitioned into a 2x2 two two grid of four rectangular sections. In each section, the farmer will plant one crop, corn, wheat, soybeans, or potatoes. The farmer does not want to grow corn and wheat in any two sections that share a border, and the farmer does not want to grow soybeans and potatoes in any two sections that share a border. Given these restrictions, in how many ways can the farmer choose crops to plant in each of the four sections of the field? Oh boy, this looks like a messy counting problem. So right off the bat, I know I don't want to keep referring to corn, wheat, soybeans, and potatoes. So let me just call that crop number one, crop number two, three, and four. And uh, one and two, I will say that they're in the same group because they have a restriction that they can't be planted next to one another. And I'll say that three and four are in the same group because they too cannot be planted next to one another. All right, so I'm gonna to have to break this counting problem down into subsets. So I'm gonna break this down into subsets based on how many different types of crops are planted in the field. So let me start off with just one type of crop. And for one type of crop, the possible arrangements are pretty simple. We could have all of the number one, all of the number two, all of the number three, all of the number four. All right, that's pretty simple. So we have four total. If we have two types of crops, then just for argument's sake, what if we choose, say, one and two, or perhaps one and three, so it seems like we have two options. We could choose the two crops being from the same group or the opposite group. So if we're in the same group, I would choose say one and two and have something like this. And it seems as though no matter how I arrange one and two, I'm gonna violate the condition of not being next to one another. So I don't think you can actually pick two crops from the same group. So I think we always have to pick two crops from the opposite group. So just for argument's sake, what if we choose one and three? Then we could have an arrangement that looks like one, three, 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 and then rotate it in the four equivalent positions. I could also have one, one, three, 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 and rotate that into the four rotations. I could have across the diagonal, one, one, three, three, but now I only have two rotations to generate a, a different arrangement. I could also have three, one, one, one. Now I have four rotations to generate equivalent uh, arrangements and that seems to exhaust all the two types. So what do we have? Four, four, two, two, that's 14. But of course that's with the selection of one and three. I could have selected two and four or two and three or one and four. So I have to multiply that by four for all those combinations. So that's uh, 56 for two types of crops. All right, we're making progress. What if we have uh, three types of crops? then I would have to eliminate one of the crops from the selection. So just for argument's sake, what if we eliminate crop number four? And I'm gonna have to double up one of the remaining three crops. And if I double up one or two, then I'm gonna run into the same problem as I ran into here. They're gonna somehow end up next to one another. So that's not allowed. So it seems as if I pick one, two, and three just for argument's sake, I'm gonna to have to double up crop number three in order to satisfy the, uh, the conditions. So just for argument's sake, if we picked one, two, and three, we'll have to double up the three. So the one and the two will have to occur across a diagonal. The three will, across, will occur across the other diagonal. Um, we could swap the one and the two we could also rotate this into two equivalent positions. That's four. Uh, that's for 
one, having chosen one, two, and three, we could have eliminated either four, three, two, or one from our selection. So there are four different ways to do that. So that gives us 16 different total arrangements for three types of crops, for four types of crops. That hopefully is a little bit simpler. The crops within the same group have to appear across a diagonal, across a diagonal. Of course, I could have rotated this by two positions, or I could swap three and four, or I could swap one and two. So all total, that gives me eight arrangements given four types of crops. So let's add them all up and hope we didn't miss something. So 56 plus 16 plus eight plus four, this is 84 for choice C.